Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have a really fun collection to share and a little tutorial to show you guys to go with it. I'm sharing the new Holy Moly Summer Life collection from iZemi. This is a Korean gel brand and we've got 10 colors here. Actually, we have eight colors and two glitters and the glitters are super super cute and fun first of all i love kind of the styling and the collection or the packaging of this collection because i love kind of tropical things and i love summertime and i love all the plants and look how beautiful this display is that you get when you order the whole collection We've got orange, the back is bright pink. Uh, you can also see the box back there behind me. That's super cute. And so you get this really cute display stand when you order the entire collection. I wanted to mention you can order this collection from heynails.com, which is H-A-E nails.com. And you can use my code Katie 10 for 10% off anything off of the website. So another cute like addition that you get if you order the entire collection, you get this little display stand and here and I don't know if you guys can see it it has some coral reef at the bottom and it has the collection name at the top and then right here is where you can display your colors so what I did was I just ordered these little circle swatch displays I don't know the technical word for that but I will make sure and link them in the description box but I got them from Amazon and they actually come with like a little sticky tab as well so that's what I use to just paint the colors on and then display it on my desk so they just stick on there with the little sticky tab and you've got these really cute little swatches I feel like the camera is like washing the colors out because they are way brighter than they're looking in the camera but look how adorable that is and then you can put it on your desk display it. i've had a lot of my clients ask like oh my goodness are those new colors what's that collection so having kind of a cute fun way to display them like this is really nice if you want to be able to use new colors because sometimes we get new stuff and then no clients ever ask for it because they just don't know about it they don't know what you can do with it they never see it so this is kind of a fun way to display it. So I just have this sitting out on my desk. And by the way, this little package of these little clear circle swatches, um, I think it comes with 480. So you get a lot in the package and I don't think they were very expensive either. So I'd almost rather use this than like using tips to display the colors because this is a lot more affordable and it's just easy because they already come with the little sticker on the back. So the colors in this collection are bright summery colors. They're also a semi-sheer kind of syrup gel formula, which I think is really cool. It almost gives like a softer look to the color versus like a true solid color. Um, and you can do really fun things with it. Like you can ombre with it, which is what I'm going to show you how to do today because I posted a set that I did using this and a ton of people were like, oh my gosh, how did you ombre it? And people were saying like, my goodness, you're so good at ombre. And I'm like, you guys, it's not me. It's literally the polish. Like it makes it super easy to ombre when you use a polish like this. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. And the glitters are really fun, chunky, multicolored, and they actually lay really nicely as far as they aren't like sticking up and they're not bumpy and things like that. So let's turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you the colors and then I'm going to show you the glitters and we're gonna do a quick little tutorial on how to do a little fade. All right, so let's dive into the colors. I need to swatch them. I haven't swatched them. I have done, again, this cute little display. Now you can kind of see the colors a little bit closer here. And I have done my own nails, not this hand, life of a nail tech, but I've done this hand. So this is that really fun, like yellowy green color. And you can see um, this really fun, chunky glitter as well. And then I kind of ombre the green color over the glitter, which is what I'm gonna show you how to do today. But you can kind of see that the color, cause it's semi sheer, it almost looks a little bit more milky versus like a true 
solid. So we're just gonna start. This is number 374, which I is the one that I have on my hands right now. I kind of like to float them on a little bit. All right, so here's number three, I374. And it's the really fun yellow green color. And next we have number I375. This one's like a really pretty kind of sea foam color. Next is number 376, which is a really pretty like, what would you call this? Aqua teal color. I kind of float them on and you can get pretty good coverage um, depending on the technique I'm doing. If I'm going to do the ombre, then I'll do thinner layers, which I will share. Next we have 377, which is a really pretty blue. This would be really pretty for like ocean nails. Next is 378, which is gonna be our purple. Number 371, which is the bright hot pink. I think I'm gonna use this one in my demo. I think I wanna use, actually, I think I wanna do two like two different color combinations. Next is 372, which is the color that I used in the photo on my Instagram that everybody really liked. It's kind of that like watermelon color. And lastly, for the colors, we have 373, which is your nice orange now for the glitters we have number six and look how cute this holographic packaging is and you have some little monstera leaves like i love this holographic packaging it's so pretty so this one is gonna be more of our oranges, pinks, yellow glitter. This is the one that I have on my nails and the one I used in the picture. So look how fun that is. You've got these big chunky pieces and I will show you that they lay like really nice and smooth. So I'm just gonna drag the brush, like drag the glitter off the brush like that so I can get like a good amount of that chunky loveliness. I'm just gonna float it around and I'm putting it on the top of the swatch so that you can see that it's nice and lovely and smooth. I'm just gonna take a little detailer brush and just kind of adjust pieces of glitter that I feel like might be sticking up a little bit. Look how fun that is. I love all those colors. I have never seen, honestly, like a gel polish that has these like really fun, chunky glitters like this. So I'm going to cure this and then we're gonna use swatch the blue one, which is number seven. And I just like pull the brush straight out because I want the most glitter. And again, just, wiping the side of the brush onto the nail so that I can get the most glitter. This one is more blues, purples, greens. Switch into the detailer brush to adjust. You can always flip it upside down too to kind of help gravity kind of pull the gel down so that it's nice and smooth. Look at that one. Greens. There are some pinks and purples in there. And then I have two different top coats from them. So these are the same top coat, but different consistencies. So the top gel low 
has a low viscosity, so it's more runny. And the Top Gel High has a higher viscosity, so it's really thick. So this one is gonna be great if you just need a really thin top coat. And then they have this one, which I like to use for if you're going over like glitter, or if you're going over like maybe nail art that you did that ended up being a little bit bumpier, this will cover it really nicely. I've even encapsulated glitter with this in like one step so that you can go over the glitter and do top coat in basically one step instead of two. And then they also have one that's in this middle, which is the mid, which is in between the two. So it's not super runny and it's not super thick. It's right in the middle. I don't have that one, but it's on my list to get so for top coating the swatches, I'm gonna top them with the top gel low, and then the glitters, I'll probably use the high just to get a nice, glossy, smooth finish. And these are a wipe top coat, so they're not no wipe, they are a sticky top coat, if that makes a difference. I personally prefer a tacky top coat. I am not a huge fan of no wipe top coats. Um, they're super, super, super shiny, and they stay really shiny for a long time. All right, so here's all of our colors together. I did end up doing a second coat on the purple and the pink because they looked a little bit too sheer on the swatch. How fun are these colors? Like, they are so fun for summer. And so here are the two glitters. And again, I did the thicker top coat, so it's nice and smooth and there's no bumpies at all sticking up. And they're just so fun. So for this design, you're gonna want either an ombre brush or some type of detailer brush. You can use either one. I like using the ombre brush, um, but the detailer brush works good as well. This ombre brush doesn't even have a name on it. So I know people are gonna ask me where I got it from. And honestly, guys, you don't need fancy tools. Like you don't need expensive brushes. Just use what you have. So. I don't even know where this ombre brush came from. It doesn't even have a name on it, but it works. The detailer brush I have is from the brand Tiny. This is their short liner, but any detailer brush will do just fine. So I'm gonna grab the glitter. Just like I did with the swatch, I'm gonna kind of just scrape the edge of the brush off so I can get the most glitter and then I'm going to concentrate for this one the glitter on around the cuticle area and then I'm just gonna like gently drag it down I'm gonna grab the liner brush and just make sure it's like as smooth as possible because if it's bumpy you'll be able to tell when you go in over with your color. That looks pretty good if you look at it from this side. All right, so I'm gonna give this a cure. I think I'm gonna use this kind of aqua color. This is 376. So I'm going to get not too much because I'm gonna work in layers for this. And I'm gonna paint it onto the free edge. About like a third of the way. And it's okay if it covers the glitter, that's what we want, because we want it to look kind of like the glitter's like fading away underneath the color. And I'm gonna take my ombre brush and just pull up that color. We're already getting kind of a cool fade there. See these, because they're semi-sheer, they're just so easy to kind of pull and fade. So I'm gonna cure this and then I'm gonna do two, probably two more layers, thin layers. Okay, that looks 
pretty good as far as the ombre goes. So I'm gonna cure that. And then I'm gonna top coat with the really thick top coat, the top gel, top gel high, cause it's gonna smooth over everything really nicely. And you can use your detailer brush if you want to refine the top coat a little bit. All right, so here's the two kind of color combinations that I did. This one is the blue cool toned glitter with the Aqua 376 for the fade. And that looks super pretty. I like how you can kind of see that like big chunk under there. Just add some depth. I also did the uh, other glitter number six with the hot pink, which is 371. And I think that one looks really pretty. And I did them kind of opposite. So one I did fade from the cuticle area and one from the free edge. So what do you guys think? Super easy to do, honestly. Like if you have these types of gels that are like these semi sheer gels, they just fade so easily. <laughs> like I'm telling you, if you struggle with ombre or you wanna do these like really cool effects, get some semi semi sheer gels because they just work so nicely and again here's all the beautiful colors so i hope you guys enjoyed this video on this beautiful new collection i'm excited i could do honestly bright nails like all year round summer nails all the time that would be my absolute favorite so i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh this tutorial so if you have any questions don't forget to put them in the description box below and i'll do my best to answer them and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my social media and i'll see you guys later bye